the quates, or whatever you call it, are part of the new Tenno reinforcement which packs a lot of amusement to the user. It may not be as good as other endgame stuff I have featured on this channel but, it does have a lot of cool gimmicks that make you want to play it. The first thing you'll notice on this new secondary is, it has two fire modes. One is auto fire, and the other one is a burst fire. The auto fire is your usual spray and pray fire mode, and in fact, it pairs well with the Xtolito Prime when it comes to how fast it can fire bullets. While its alternate fire is a burst mode, it's a single shot, but it's more like a shotgun wherein it fires one shell that spreads multiple pellets, dealing both multiple damages and status procs to a single target. But here's the most interesting part about its two fire modes. The auto mode can be used by just shooting, and not using the aim button, while the burst fire will task you to shoot while aiming. It's unique compared to other guns that have two fire modes and honestly, I find this switching more fluid compared to other guns. One quick tip, always start firing from the hip and aim while keeping the trigger held down to stay in auto mode. But that's not all the gimmicks that the gun has. It also can proc electric damage in the last part of your reload animation. Aside from the electric damage, we all know that this element can stun enemies for a couple of seconds, giving you a little bit of crowd control in your arsenal. But do take note of this, I tested the range of the electric proc during the reload animation, and it looks like it only has an 8 meters range. It may be small compared to other ways of crowd controlling enemies, but you will find it both helpful and amusing sometimes. When we take a look at its stats, it has a pretty balanced critical and status stats distribution on both auto and burst fire mode. Its fire rate is also decent for both fire modes, but the problem is, the total damage of this secondary weapon is quite low honestly, also, its reload speed is really slow which will be problematic for most Tenno. The reload animation may be fancy but when it comes to efficiency, that cool animation will be bothersome, also, the fire rate may be a pro for this gun, but it's also a con because the faster you fire, the more bullets you spend. Yes, it really emo inefficient and when it comes to dealing with endgame enemies, like those corrupted heavy gunners, you will most likely spend a lot of bullets just to take down a single enemy. Honestly, this weapon should have an innate ammo conversion feature to take care of its ammo economy, but at its current state right now, you should bring an ammo mutation mod, or your trusty carrier prime with the ammo conversion mod to take care of this gun's ammo problems. Okay, I know that I've listed a lot of issues for this gun but, I'm just telling the truth. I'm giving you all the details you need to know so you can decide whether you will try the gun now or just wait until you have some extra resources to craft it. However, take note that the stats you see on your screen is for the UN modded version of this gun. When properly modded, it does allow you to deal some decent damage and have fun at the same time using this gun. So here's how I mod this Grenier pistol. First of all, I put Hornet Strike, Barrel Diffusion and Lethal Torrent on this weapon. Hornet Strike is obviously for damage while Barrel Diffusion and Lethal Torrent are mainly for multi-shots. The amount of bullet this gun can shoot does affect its overall DPS, especially its burst fire mode, with lots of multi-shot. You will be able to shoot more than 4 bullets or pellets in a single target, allowing you to both deal more damage, and proc more status. The second mods that I considered for this weapon are critical. I equipped both Primed Pistol Gambit and Primed Target Cracker on my build. You might question my decision as its auto fire has mediocre critical stats but, here's the thing, the auto fire does have lots of fire rate, which means I can fire a lot of bullets in one second, giving me more chances to not just proc status, but also to deal critical hits coming from these mods. Besides, its burst mode will have some insane critical stats when you use these two critical mods on your build. By the way, if you don't have these primed mods yet, you can always use two regular versions of these mods for the price of lesser critical chance and critical damage multiplier. Aside from damage, multi-shot, fire rate and critical stats, it's a no-brainer option to put two dual status mods on this build. If you do, then it will let you deal with some decent DPS. Judging the fact that this gun has some decent status chance on both its fire mode, now the last slot is reserved for the mod of your choice or, if you manage to get a Riven for this secondary weapon, then this is the slot to place that juicy Riven. If somehow you don't have any Riven, then you can place Augur Pact on this slot to add more damage to this weapon, or, you can steady hands on this slot, to take care of the recoil from your auto fire mode. The recoil is manageable but for those who value accuracy, then it would probably be bothersome seeing your sight moving upwards when reaching the last few bullets of your gun. 
So that's the new Quake Skrinia pistol, like I've said, it may not be as good as other endgame pistols that I've featured on this channel but, it's fun to play with, the cool gimmicks, plus the decent damage it deals when properly modded makes it a good secondary weapon overall, honestly, endgame doesn't matter while I'm using this secondary weapon, I just have fun it and, I feel like I'm holding a modernized gun that packs a lot of tricks and coolness. If you have the resources, then I definitely suggest that you try out this gun, but if you don't, then better try it later. So that's it, thank you so much for watching, squad leader signing off.